What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. Today, we got a package. But before we go too far, I wanna say thank you to anybody who has already liked and subscribed to our channel. It's because of you that we keep making content and we're gonna keep making content. So if you haven't jumped on the bandwagon and started liking and subscribing to everything that we do, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below or hit the little logo in the corner and that'll subscribe you to our channel, let you know when we make that content. We also have a brand new Instagram page. So please head over to Instagram and follow us at workknifebalance939. That's a fantastic way to see when we put out new content. We're going to be taking pictures of knives, putting them out there, kind of getting all that fun stuff going. But it's also a way to communicate with us. Um, Instagram has a messaging app on it. I am a Neanderthal when it comes to social media. So that's a good way that we can talk with you and you can talk with us. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Lots of fun stuff going on over there, and we're just getting started with it. So please head over to Instagram, workknifebalance939. Follow us there and support us on that form of social media as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get in this. And this is the first time in my life this has happened to me, but I have no idea what's in here. None whatsoever. I think it's a knife box. That looks like a knife box. And if this isn't a knife box, then... This video won't be on YouTube, <laughs> but um, I didn't buy this. I don't know who did. It had my name on it up here, and um, it was sent to me. The only way that I can think someone did this is it was a family member, a friend, a relative who knows my Amazon channel, and this was on probably one of my knives lists that I wanted to review, and they bought it and sent it to me. Um, unless it was one of you who somehow figured this out and found my address and sent this to me. That would be really creepy. Please don't do that without talking to me. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what this is. That was loud and annoying. But I really like that. That's there. Sure enough, knives in here. That's a knife. That's enough, we already reviewed. And here's another one. That's it, nothing else in there. So it looks like we have more GVDBs, <laughs> GVDB knives. Um, let's see, what do we got over here? Let's cut through this. We've already reviewed this knife. So, oh, and I cut the box a little bit. Oh well, it's just a box. Um, believe yeah this is the exact knife that we've already reviewed fantastic knife for $22 the GVDV go venture discover vastness d2 steel or not d2 steel actually this one was 9cr 9cr 18 mov so we've already looked at this one there's another uh video on this one I think one of the absolute best budget knives that you can get out there, 22 bucks on Amazon, maybe less, maybe more. Um, there was a little code when I got it, but this has absolutely fantastic action, super drop shutty for a $20 knife, amazing detent, and uh, just super whippy. So we've already looked at that one. We'll go ahead and put that aside. Um, actually, let's go ahead and use that to take a look at these two over here. Let's go ahead and start with this one. This looks much smaller. So this is the GVDV G Series 007M. Same 9CR18 MOV, 58 to 60 hardness. And yeah, this one opens up. This is kind of exciting because I wasn't expecting these. I don't know really what to think. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, lots of oil. Lots of oil. Lots of oil on that bad boy. I'm gonna clean that off a little bit. Looks like we've got G10. And it looks like we've got a blackened blade as well, like on the other one. Same clip too. Absolutely same clip. Not, not ambidextrous either. And the same action. Well done, GVDV. Not quite the same weight in the blade to be drop shutty, but um, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder, 
I will try and figure out what these are and link them down below um, for you so we can see prices and everything. But this is another GVDV, uh, 9CR, 18MOV steel. So I, an absolute budget knife for sure. Not much else to say about that. But it does have really good ergo in hand. Feels fantastic. It is smaller than this other one that we had out here. So this would be, I would say, more of a full-size knife of the budget series. And this would be more of a compact size. Um, we'll do some quick comparisons since we've got this out. Uh, first off, overall measurement on it, just right about 7 inches exact. And we're looking at about 3 and a quarter on blade and just about three inches exact on the cutting edge. So you do have a very small sharpening choil, but you got plenty of room to sharpen there. It looks like a hollow grind. Yeah, it looks like a hollow grind coming through there. It does have a nice drop point blade to it. I'm wondering if that's just, oh no, hey, you can actually use that hole to deploy too. That's pretty fantastic. So it's not just for looks, you can actually get in there and uh, get that out. Both thumb flick, eh, a little more uncomfortable for the thumb than the reverse, but you can reverse flick that. You can get in there, thumb flick that out, and you've got the back. So that's uh, pretty cool for a budget knife. I'm assuming it's a budget knife because it has all the same characteristics as that one over there. I'm not ambidextrous. You do have the G10 backspacer. You've got the little lanyard pillar here, liner lock, yeah. That's cool. It's gonna be a smaller knife, so we'll go pull up quick smaller comparisons. There's the Ontario Rat 2. A fantastic comparison for size with the Rat 2. It's actually even a little bit smaller, it looks like, to the Rat 2. And we'll pull out the pair of three. Really good on those three. So if you've got either of these two knives, you can definitely see that you've got a good size in comparison on that right there. Not really gonna pull the big boys out right now for that because it is definitely a smaller knife. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and use this one to open up this guy right over here. And this is a smaller box than even that one. So it looks like we had a one, two, three, big, little, small as we're opening these up right here. Put all that plastic to the side. Move this box over here. Move this back over here. Ooh, orange. And this is very reminiscent of the Civivi Chi 5 or Chi V. Yes, that is exactly what this is like. Oh, but it's a liner lock. Okay, so it's not a slip joint. You do have that. That, that is fantastic action. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't, I, I think it's almost too small for me to, to do that, but let's try it real quick. Last time I did this with the Kai V, it jumped out of my hand. Yeah, that's a little too small for me to get in there and do it that way, but you can reach right over the top. And I think because of the way that you're doing that, coming down on it like this, you, I mean, that gives you really good action to get that out there. And it's a liner lock, not a slip joint. The Kai V is a slip joint. I'm sorry, I keep bumping the table like crazy um, right now. So I'm sorry for the shaking there. There is not an earthquake going on. Um, it's just me. There's a, 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 there's a, a, a quake because of me. So <laughs> go ahead and clean this off. This is super oily as well. But you do have what looks like the exact same <laughs> pocket clip, just a baby version of it. Once again, not ambidextrous either. Um, you do got the GVDV logo right there, the G on it. So this though is, I mean, that is, I mean, it's, it's a little tough. It's a little stiff to get in there. It's not, it's not like premium quality, um, but uh, you've got some good jimping on the top, some really good jimping on the top right there. I would like to see it if they came just maybe three more knocks right over the edge there. But you've got some good jimping on it. You've got some nice chamfering around the edge of this G10 uh, to kind of give that in there for you, hold that together. And a really good backspacer on there as well. So I do like the orange on this. So whoever sent this for the orange instead of just another black one, thank you. I really like that. 
but yeah, it is a little tricky. You can, it looks like get in here with a, a thumb and open that that way. But I, I mean, I, I don't think anyone's gonna, yeah. It looks like that's just a secondary opening if you can't use the top to get in there and open that like that. But this is, I mean, that opens really nice actually. So if you can if you can get in there and pull down on that, that opens really nice. It is a little stiff. It's not like super smooth, but there's enough jimping that all I'm doing is pulling backwards with my finger. And so just pull back and I mean, that whips right out there. So I don't know if you'd call that, as, I mean, it's got a flat. I don't know if you'd call that a worn cliff <laughs> or a little sheep's foot, little baby sheep's foot in there. Uh, modified baby sheep's foot, but that is that is a really this could be a fantastic box cutting knife. I'm curious what the price is for this because this is much smaller than the other two, and it's using all the same material. I would expect this to be like a twelve dollar knife, um, just based off their pricing and what they do. So I believe all these are running on uh, cage ball bearings. I don't know if they're steel or ceramic, but they definitely feel like they've got way better action than a cheap, uh, washer. You can get really good phosphor bronze washer knives that, um, act as well as ball bearings, but, um, these definitely aren't that. So these are definitely on ball bearings and acting really well. I, it's just, I'm genuinely impressed with this and quite surprised actually. Um, I don't, I mean, just having it in my hand initially, I don't necessarily love this on the backside. Um, just the placement of it as I'm holding it, you can feel that on this back finger here. And when I'm opening it, like my finger presses right into that. And so I'm going to, I'm going to say it, but it's a hot spot for sure. Um, holding and opening that I'm not going to hold the knife like this forever, but Opening it like that, I don't like it. It doesn't feel good right here. But the action on this, I am genuinely impressed with how easy and how smooth that opens up as well. We've got the 9CR18MOV and the GVDV. So this is, this is a surprise. This is a huge surprise. So much packed into this little guy right here. This is pretty cool. So yeah, GVDV. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're new. I don't think they are. Uh, may, maybe they are, but I don't know. I haven't heard much about them, but they are definitely making uh, budget knives. Nonetheless, they're making budget knives, but some pretty cool budget knives. So go ahead and check them out. We might do a quick review um, on some of these or do some budget comparisons. I do have an idea for a video that I'm going to be doing here in a little bit. So maybe these will make an appearance in that budget video idea there that we're doing but yeah overall we've got the video on this one we talked about it i still like it i still think it's fantastic especially with that action and the way that just kind of closes like that the weight in that blade just bringing it down and the just the swedge on the top the profile everything about this one for the price this one just hit it out of the ballpark for what it was um, not by any means a premium knife. This doesn't compare to some of the knives that we've seen on this channel and that you've seen other places. But for $20, yes, this is fantastic. Don't know the pricing of these two. I will try and find them and then put the links below. But this one as well, really nice for what it is. Being able to have multiple opening mechanisms on this knife, having that both there and on the back side, it's got the same action that that, that 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 the other larger one has um, just in a smaller body and a different shape i really like the way that this one looks too um, good ergos on the smaller size as well but the biggest surprise for me is this little guy right here uh, very reminiscent of that civivi kai v the little baby um, out there i think we've seen it in a video but uh but instead of being a slip joint, you do have the liner lock, which is uh, kind of nice if you don't like slip joints. So, yeah. Thank you very much to whoever sent these. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll probably see more of these in a later video. But until next time, stay safe and TTFN.